Hey everybody, your host AMF1534 here, and let me welcome you to my newest series, Diddy's Conquest, Donkey Kong Country 2. This was actually um, the first runner-up when I allowed you guys to vote for what my next LP would be, so I figured I would let it follow. And now we're gonna play. And apparently I've played this before, I don't remember doing that. Oh well, whatever. We're gonna start up a new file. Oh man. This might be one of the most memorable games from my childhood. Like completely. I think I may have actually played this game more than almost anything else that I own. So, yeah. This game actually was probably one of the most advanced things for its time, considering the year it came out. Like, look at the graphics for this. It's insane. It definitely, uh, definitely pushed the Super Nintendo all the way to its, all the way to its limits when they came out with it. And I think this is awesome. Like, it uses a lot of, like, 3D elements. I think it's pretty cool. Not to mention that the, uh, the soundtrack for this game is excellent. Let's see, we got a floating map here. Let's, let's check it out. I've kidnapped that lumbering fool Donkey Kong, and you will never see him again. <laughs> Captain K. Rule, or Captain Cruel. Goes a lot of different ways there. He's our antagonist of the evening. Or of the series, I suppose. So, obviously, you can kind of see where the storyline's going with this. Donkey Kong has gotten himself into trouble. He's pulling a Super Mario's version of the princess right now, and we have to go save his ass. By the means of Diddy Kong and his girlfriend, Dixie. He's hot. And she has probably the strongest hair that ever existed on, on anything. You can switch in and out of them at your leisure. Whoa, hello. Forgot about those guys. The green ones don't really do anything too harmful. They're about as harmless as it gets. They can kind of push you around, though. But I'm going to complete as much of this game as I possibly can the first time through. We'll actually end up doing a full 100% completion on this. Just, uh, not just yet. I'll remember, I'll try to get all the DK coins that I can remember the location of. So if I don't get some of them, you may either gladly tell me where they're at, or I'll find out on my own and we'll figure this out. We'll do the very, it'll be a very casual LP. Uh, I mean, this is a game that I could literally pick up every time and still kind of remember most of the stuff about it. But there are things I don't know. I mean, like I said a million times, I don't really study. I don't want to do, like, test runs of these games before I play them. I just kind of pick them up and play. And that's the joy. Destroy them all! It's probably about the easiest easiest bonus stage in this game. You literally jump once and you pretty much got it. Because you can kind of jump in between people. And yes, Diddy Kong was super manning a rhino. I mean, <laughs> let's kind of think of some of the concepts here. He's riding a rhino on a pirate ship, killing crocodiles with peg legs. A couple of things that might scream out to me is weird. And this is also another game that you can really, really pack up the lives with. I mean, let's be honest, after the first level I already have ten. So, you should never really have much of an issue with that. And there's plenty of opportunities for you to get more. And you're probably wondering, hey Adam, or AMF, or whatever it is that you guys like to call me. Why exactly are there bonus stages in here? You're getting with these weird coins at the end. Well, they'll make plenty of sense later. I won't really explain it all too much now. I like having... I like, I like leaving you in suspense. I'll give you a, a nice small cliffhanger for that. But actually... Oh no, I have to sneeze. Don't, 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 don't. It, it hurts too much. Okay. Didn't, didn't have to sneeze, I fought it off. There's a bonus stage barrel down here, for those of you that don't know that. You do have to have Dixie to get there, I, I promise you. If you try to do it with Diddy, it's not going to work. P. Diddy cannot make that kind of jump by himself. He is pretty badass, too, I, I, I must be honest here. Already got three of those things. Believe me, there are plenty of them. But this is our first level that would be considered in this game a rigging level. 
I don't really know the whole thing about the terminology with that, but you'll see why I called it that here in a minute. Yeah, got, my, got myself all backwards. I kind of forgot who I was controlling for a minute. Evil beetles on a on a ship. I don't really know what's up with this guy, but I would hate to be him though. Like, look at ah, oh, that rope burn's gotta suck, man. I hate it. I hate rope burn. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So to clear up a couple of... Oh, shit. Well, I was kind of cleared it up for myself right there. If you take damage with only one person active, you immediately die. You can only take one hit with each person. Not like it's a big deal or anything. I mean... It's not a huge thing. Um... We'll go up here. Yes, you can You can throw your partner around to kill enemies, or if you're just really pissed, you can throw them away. And then she cries. And then you go get her, and then she's like, okay, whatever. Definitely teaches all sorts of marital things. If you get pissed off at your wife, you can just pick her up and throw her. And then she'll, you know, she'll come back, as long as you go walk back over to her. Can we get up to this one? All right. There's nothing here, right? Oh, yeah. I thought there was something over here. Hold on a minute. Okay, apparently there is nothing over here. I could have sworn that there was. It has been a couple of years since I played this. I, I, I do forget. Um, I already went there. Alright, let's go up here. <laughs> I love that part. I just like killing the mice. You have to forgive me, I, I do have that... What the frick? Why would there be a barrel that just spawns out of nowhere like that? It was a banana one, the last time I checked. Oh no! Oh shit! Damn it, I thought I could get through that. Apparently not. So in case you're wondering about this cannonball thing... Well, I'm going to show you. If you ever find a cannonball in a level... That means that you have to find the cannon that it goes into. The cannon. It'll flash green, that means you can go in. It's usually not as easy as that, though. Later levels will make you think a little bit more. But it's another one of those destroy them all things. That's how it goes for every one of these uh, cannon levels. They'll give you a time limit. If you, if you happen to not get it, you can still go back and try it again. It's not one of those, if you fail it, you'll never get another chance kind of things. And then you get it and you go away and you're like, holy shit, I got it. So far we're batting a thousand on these bonus levels. That's always a good thing. Is there a G down here? Haha! -ha. If you get all the letters, you will get an extra life. It's good fun. Really. Or if you go up here, you can find another cool thing. There's uh, bananas and a DK coin, which is exactly what we want. But we need to go back here and get the bonus thing, because that's why I went here in the first place. Holy damn. Good gravy. Collect the stars. These ones are fun. Another one of those levels where you just go up and then you go down. Not a, most of these bonus levels aren't very hard. Like, there's a couple of them that can be kind of a pain. The ones that don't give you very much time, those are the ones that are a real pain in the ass. You're just like, holy shit, how am I supposed to do that in that kind of time limit? I mean, you'll usually be able to get through it, but they at least kind of throw a little bit of a difficulty curveball at you. Nothing too big. And so if you get through that bonus stage, you'll be up here anyways. I mean, I just wanted to do that to show it to you quicker. And then they'll show you this check mark so you can't just keep getting it. And then we make the plunge! And he can spawn a boombox and a pair of sunglasses out of nowhere every time he finishes a level. Then we can go to the Monkey Museum. Talk to Old Man River here. Come and say hello to your old grandpappy, Cranky. I'm back by popular demand to offer you my wealth of game-playing wisdom for this unnecessary sequel. Diddy, I thought you were a cheap character in Donkey Kong Country, but Dixie is even worse. It should be me on my own. That it should. Is that nasty fat crocodile beating you? Listen up and I'll share my amazing knowledge. Enough folks, let's see your tokens. So you can, you know, sometimes he'll give you some free insight and he can tell you like little 
tips and things at the cost of some coins, those banana coins up there. He has a wife? I didn't know he had a wife. Weird. So yeah. We can do the Gangplank Galley next, but we're actually going to save that for the next episode. So, this is your host, AMF1534, saying goodbye for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.